so the outer plane update patch notes just dropped and here we have the complete skill set for eternal and all the details let's just jump straight into it so we already know that she's a fire mage we already knew that enchanter which i'm thinking it means that she won't be a dps class hero so just a debuffer uh, skill 1 attacks 2 enemies, has a 65% chance. This is already really insane. Like, 65% base chance is already the highest in the game for a skill 1 ability. Uh, increase by chance by 10%, 75, and another 10%. So, I'm guessing this adds on to this, which would make it 85%, which is actually insane. That is like the most consistent defense break in the game now. Jesus Christ, 85% on skill 1 and attacks 2 enemies. That is going to be so huge for PvE. Cooldown 4 turns, skill 2. Attacks 2 enemies and has an 85% chance to inflict defense down and reduce speed on all enemies. What? What does this mean? Attacks 2 enemies and has an 85% chance to inflict reduced defense and reduce speed on all enemies. I'm guessing the defense, reduce defense part is only for two enemies, but the reduce speed is for all enemies. That's what I'm getting from reading this right now. Additionally, has an 85% chance to inflict unhealable on earth targets. This is massive. Like unheal. This is the first unhealable unit we have in the game. Before it was only bleeds that reduced healing by about 50%, but this is actual true unhealable now. Holy shit! This skill is loaded. Like, it's so insane right now, holy fuck. Sorry for my language. Um, skill Enhance. Reduce Weakness. Reduce Skill Cooldown. So that goes from 4 to 3 turns. Which is really good. Really, 3 turns is a really good cooldown. Increases Effect Stacks by 1. I don't know what this means. Um, I'm guessing it either increases the duration or makes this attack 3 enemies instead of 2. Really not sure what this means right now. Increases chance to activate, so it becomes a 100% chance for all these, which is... Okay, this is kind of looking kind of disgusting right now. She's gonna be definitely like super meta in PvE, just from skill 1 and skill 2 already. Changes to single attack greatly increases damage. This is skill burst by the way. Increased effectiveness, plus two turns. Oh, okay, so I'm guessing this means that she gets a two turns effectiveness buff after using School Burst 1. I mean... Uh, it's not that great, because she's an enchanter, so... I don't know, like, this, this is like increased damage plus... Well, I mean, the effectiveness is good for sure, but... This isn't... I'm not too sure about this. So, increases damage, steals buff, whatever, nobody really uses it's burst 3 anyway, and the burst 2 seems kind of mediocre as well. Like, burst 1 is probably like, the biggest value burst here, so. Moving on. Ultimate, I'm guessing, yep, 5 second cooldown. Attacks 2 enemies again, and has an 85% chance to move 1 buff from the target. This target's earth, inflicts reduced evasion for 2 turns. Oh my god, this unit, man. She has so many fucking... Excuse my language. She has so many... St okay, strips and reduced evasion on Earth. Again, huge for PvE, especially for the bugs, because they have increased evasion. Damage, 10%. Okay, increases effect chance, expected, so this is 100% chance to strip. Two enemies. I mean, honestly, for the for an ultimate, this effect is really underwhelming. Like, it's just a one buff strip on two enemies. So, and the second one is probably random. So you probably kind of you can only choose one consistently. And this effect is only on Earth, so that's like one out of the five elements in the game. So, yeah, like this ultimate is honestly way more underwhelming than the skill one and skill two. Reduces school cooldown to 4 turns, uh, increases effect duration by 1 turn, so it just affects this, so it only works on earth elements, so it would just reduce evasion for 3 turns if it hits an earth element, which is kind of 
it's not even AoE, so like you have to target the Earth guy if they, they only have one Earth guy to guarantee the hit on the Earth guy. So yeah, uh, doesn't say what her base stats are. So, but I'm assuming since she's a mage, her base speed won't be that great. So yeah, it's not, she's not looking too hot for PvP right now, based on my first impressions. Especially since Tio exists, like even if she was super fast, like yeah, not a PvP unit unfortunately. Especially since Tio is everywhere in the PvP meta right now. And a chain and unique passive. So after attacking grants find weakness to all allies. What's find weakness? I, th I think I remember seeing find weakness before but I can't really remember what it is. I think it was pretty decent if I remember. Uh, I'll probably have a screenshot of what it does on the screen after in, after I edit the video, so you can just read that. Uh, dual attack effect after attacking has an 85% chance to reduce target's defense. But she's not really going to be dual attacking because unless you put, make her the main DPS on the team. That, that sounds pretty good actually. Like it says that they, they call her an enchanter subclass, but this dual attack effect, like you pair it with Veronica or Valentine with their dual attacks, but they only take the highest attack target, right? So if you bring like a Noah with you, then it will always bring the Noah because Noah is the highest attack DPS unit. But maybe she, you could build a tunnel as a DPS instead. Or you could just make it so that she has the most attack, like she's just pure attack and like with no crit stats, I, yeah, I, th I, th I think that's a good idea. And you can bring another DPS along with it. It has less attack, but they have actual crit stats, like crit, 50% crit chance and like 200% and 200 crit damage, etc. I can see that working really well. And oh, Transcendence is ally team effectiveness, which is kind of underwhelming, honestly. Like Effectiveness is, isn't one of the great stats to have for this, but... Damn, her skill 1 and skill 2 though. Like, okay, overall thoughts. Um, overall, based on my first impressions, she's gonna be like, super important in like, speedrunning PvE bosses, because she has really consistent defense breaks. 1, 85% on skill 1, 100% on skill 2, and reduce speed. Uh, and her dual attack. So if you pair her with like, or is it? Yeah, if you pair her with Veronica or Valentine, as a highest attack unit, She's gonna like, the boss is gonna be perma defense broken. Sounds pretty disgusting, honestly. Um, especially against Earth heroes, Earth PVE bosses. She's gonna absolutely annihilate them. Unhealable, one hundred percent chance. Reduced evasion, one hundred percent chance. Like, <laughs> sheesh. Okay, I'm guessing she's gonna have to be be built with accuracy, and effectiveness, and attack. Actually, she needs kind of needs a lot of stats as well, because. Yeah, she needs accuracy to land this reduced evasion against targets that have lots of evasion. And she needs effectiveness to go through the boss's resilience. I guess she doesn't need that much, but yeah. Okay, so the PV aspect, she's like really, really strong. Like her ultimate is like her worst skill in her kit by far. Like this is so underwhelming compared to the rest. And for PvP, I really don't see her being used in PvP at all. Uh, even though her skill 1 and skill 2 are really good, like her base speed is probably not good enough and since Tio exists, it will just completely counter what she tries to do with skill 2. Like this is her best ability and Tio just completely counters it, so yeah. You can try in PvP, someone prove me wrong, I'd be happy for someone to prove me wrong, but my verdict is that this is a purely PvE unit and she's extremely top tier, probably the best PvE support unit in the game. Undoubtedly. I wouldn't call it DPS yet, but we'll have to see what her base stats are and her, how much damage she does, like what what her damage scalings are and her skills. So yeah, that's everything on the new unit. Um, I will probably be going through the rest of the patch notes in a separate video, so stay tuned for that. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you in the next video.